So this is on a stylized action movie directed by the man that work in John Wick. Shut up and take my money! Hello everybody and welcome to Film Street. Today we're talking about Bullet Train, directed by David Leitch who previously made Deadpool 2 and the Fast and the Furious spin-off Hobbs and Shaw, and stars Brad Pitt, Aaron Taylor-Johnson, Brian Tyree Henry, Joey Keane, Hiroyuki Sanada, and Bad Bunny of all people. And is the adaptation of a novel of the same name by Kotaro Isaka. In Bullet Train we follow Brad Pitt's Ladybug, an unlucky assassin determined to do his job peacefully after one too many gigs going off the rails. Fate however may have other plans as Ladybug's latest mission puts in on a collision course with a bunch of assassins from around the globe in the world's fastest train. David Leitch is a great action filmmaker with a very respectable resume and when I learned that he was directing this movie along with this amazing cast I became very excited and I gotta say that Bullet Train was a blast, I really enjoyed this movie and actually I'm a bit surprised with the critical reception for this movie because I found it to be a very entertaining action movie. And I get it, the plot is a little convoluted, the humor and dialogue not always landed, and the third act is a little all over the place. But that never really bothered me that much watching this film, that never took me out of the movie. I actually thought that it had great action sequences with very impressive fight choreography, which was kind of obvious knowing David Leitch's background as a stuntman, but he found a very creative way to film those action sequences. And also the entire cast did a really great job. Brad Pitt is obviously a standout because he's Brad Pitt, he's always a nice presence in the screen. And apparently he did most of his stunts in this movie, which is impressive considering his age. And the charisma that he always delivers in every performance, along with the dilemma that his character faces in this movie, helped create a more pleasant experience watching this film. But I gotta say that the true standouts in this movie, for me at least, were Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Tyree Henry. Their characters were so fun to watch, they had such great chemistry, and they also had the best and most interesting backstory of all the characters in the movie. I could totally watch a spin-off out of those two characters. Actually, that's not a bad idea, Sony please make that movie. We need more lemon and tangerine in our lives. And also Hiroyuki Sanada, that man is a complete badass. He was such a cool presence in this movie and I'm so glad that he's getting more roles and recognition because he totally deserved it. We need to see more of this man. And say whatever you want about the Mortal Kombat movie, but I need to see this man play Scorpion once again. Another aspect that I really appreciate is the fact that this movie knows what it is, it never asks you to take it that seriously so you can just go along for the ride and have fun. I love when movies do that. Because it was obvious that everyone in this production had a great time making this movie and that's, that should always happen because I get it, movies are an art form but they're also great pieces of entertainment. So everyone should enjoy themselves watching movies and making movies. In the end, I really enjoyed watching Bullet Train. It was exactly the kind of movie that I expected it to be, so that actually helped my experience watching this. So you should consider everything that I just said in case you're looking for something a little more serious maybe, but if you're just looking for a funny action movie, this should totally work for you. It's not a perfect movie, but it's an enjoyable one. And that's it for today's video. Guys, thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this and if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and please let me know in the comments what's your favorite comedy action movie. Like always, it's been my pleasure and I'll see you next time.